Here we have a really tricky vectors problem. And to do this, you need to have made sure you understand how to prove that two vectors are parallel and to also understand when points are on the same line in vector form. And if you don't know that, go back and have a look at the videos that I've done on proving that vectors are parallel and also that vectors lie on a straight line or points lie on a straight line even. So anyway, knowing all of that, let's get into this question. And we've got a special vectors problem solving. And what we've got here is we're going to find this point P. Okay, now the problem with this point P, we don't know how far along ON is, and we don't know how far along MA it is. So we have no ratios to help us. So what we are going to do, we're going to find a vector equation of the line MA, and we're going to find a vector equation of the line ON, and then we're going to solve those simultaneous equations and find out where they intersect. So it's a bit like doing simultaneous equations, but a lot more complex because we're doing this in vector form. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find O to N. Okay, and we're going to find O to N because we're going to use OB plus BN. Now we can find BN because it's a half of BA. So BN will equal a half of BA. We know this because we are told that N is the midpoint of AB. So putting the other values into this, we know that's 6B. And we know that that is 8a. So therefore, bn is going to be half of ba, but ba, but ba is equal to minus 6b, because it's going in the opposite direction. Here we're going from b to o, plus 8a. So we know that that's going to be equal to minus 3b plus 4a. Now we want to find ON, because we only found BN, and that's going to be equal to OB, which is 6B, plus BN. And we've already got BN. So, that, so ON will equal 6B plus BN, which is minus 3B plus 4A, which comes out to be 3B plus 4A. A. Now we want to find the equation of the line ON in vector form. So we want to be able to describe any point on this line. Now it could even be here if we've got negative multiples of ON, it could be fractional multiples of N, or it could be whole multiples of N if we go beyond here. So what we need is a multiple of ON. So the line ON will be equal to a multiple. We're going to call that lambda, a Greek letter, to differentiate, get a totally different letter from the A's and the B's to make sure we don't get confused with X's and Y's and A's and B's. We know that this thing is a scalar and these are vectors for definite. Now, line ON is that, and OP is on the line ON. So we know that OP must equal lambda lots of 3B plus 4A. Next, we need to find the equation of MA in vector form. Well, first of all, we've got to work out how to get to the line. And we've got to get to the line by using OM. And OM is the point where OM to MB is 1 to 2. So this is in the ratio 1 to 2. So that's three parts, 6B along here. So this is going to be 2B, and this is going to be 4B, this section and that section. So OM is going to be 2B. And then we're going to have some multiple of this to describe moving along here. But we need to find out what MA is first. Well, I'm going to find the equation of MA in vector form. And what we need to do, we need to get to MA. So we're going to use the 2B to get to MA, so that's OM. And then we're going to move along this line by using multiples of MA. And we can find MA, okay, by doing minus 2b plus 8a. So let's just go through that. So the line of um, ma will equal this vector getting to it. So we're going to use 2b to get to the line. And then we're going to use multiples of the vector ma. So let's use a different multiple, this one. Let's use the Greek letter mu to move on down this line. And this vector is going to be minus 2b plus 8a. So it's minus 2b plus 8a. 
So that gives me my vector of my line MA in vector form. And obviously P is on that line. So we can say that OP is also equal to 2B plus mu minus 2B plus 8A. So we've got two equations for OP. So they must be equal to each other because they're both OP. So OP, I'm going to multiply this out now. So this will give us 3 lambda B. And lambda times 4A will give me plus 4 lambda A. And we're going to make that equal to this bit of OP. And we've got 2B plus minus 2 times mu. So it's minus 2 mu times by B. And plus another mu times by 8. So it's plus 8 mu A. Now what we need to do, if they're in the same position, the multiples of A on each side must be equal and the multiples of B on each side are equal. So let's just highlight the B bits. So there's the B bits there. They must be equal. And we can highlight the A bits and they must be equal. So if we look at just the A bits, we know that 4 lambda must equal 8 mu. So therefore, lambda must equal to mu from just the A bits. We're just doing the A bits here. So I've, all I've done is looked at the A bits here. Moving on to the yellow bits, so the B bits. And we know that 3 lambda must equal, there's 2 lots of B, so that's 2, minus 2 mu lots of B, 2 mu. So we're just looking at the B bits here. So we're going to call this equation 1, and we're going to call this equation 2. And if we substitute equation, and we're going to say, we're going to solve our two variables to work out OP. So we're going to put equation 1 into equation 2. So lambda here is equal to mu. So we can replace this lambda with that 2 mu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that lambda with that 2 mu because it's equal to lambda. So we get 3 times 2 mu, because I just replaced that in there, equals 2 minus 2 mu. So I get 6 mu equals 2 minus 2 mu. Add 2 mu to both sides, I get 8 mu equals 2. So mu equals a quarter. So I can put that mu back into my equation, which is based on mu, so this one here, and find out OP. So OP must equal 2B plus, and mu is a quarter, minus 2B plus 8. Hey, and we can simplify that. So a quarter of minus 2B is minus a half B. Take it away from the 2, I get 3 over 2B, or you might think of it as 1 and a half B. Quarter of 8 is 2A. Now, of course, if I know that B, mu is a quarter, I can see that lambda is a half. And then I could put it into this equation here, and I get a half times 3b, which is just 3 over 2b, and I get a half times 4a, which is just 2a. And it's good that both my lines agree with each other on the position of OP. And there you have it. Now, in my next video, I'm going to go on to this question, and you might want to have a go at this question before having a look at my next video. Now this is a little bit different. There is no light direct line to the point of intersection. So you're going to do both of them in the way I did the second equation. I've got to get to the line, then get a multiple of that vector. Then I'm going to get to the line and then get a multiple of that vector. And then find out where they cross. Find my lander and muse and then find out the position of O. E.